On April 13th, the United States Navy announced that it conducted a test of a new laser weapon. According to a statement released by the Navy, the ground-based laser system honed in on the red drone flying by, shooting a high-energy beam invisible to the naked eye. Suddenly, a fiery orange glow flared on the drone, smoke poured from its engine, and a parachute opened as the craft tumbled downward, disabled by the laser beam. The test fire, in February of this year, was the first time that the United States tested what it termed an all-electric, high-energy laser. The target in question represented a subsonic cruise missile in flight. The laser, designed by Lockheed Martin and called the Layered Laser Defense, or LLD, can counter a variety of systems, including fast attack boats as well as unmanned aerial systems. Innovative laser systems like the LLD have the potential to redefine the future of naval combat operations, the Navy's Chief of Naval Research, Rear Admiral Lawrence C. Selby, explained the statement. They present transformational capabilities to the fleet, address diverse threats, and provide precision engagements with a deep magazine to complement existing defensive systems and enhance sustained lethality in high-intensity conflict, he said. Interestingly, the U.S. Navy explained that there is actually not a concrete plan in place to field the layer laser defense system aboard Navy ships. Instead, the laser offers a glimpse into the future of laser weapons. It is compact and powerful, yet more efficient than previous systems. It has specialized optics to observe a target and focus laser beams to maximum effect, while also incorporating artificial intelligence to improve tracking and targeting. The U.S. Navy used the new laser weapon to shoot down high-speed drones, as well as fixed-wing aerial vehicles. LLD is an example of what a very advanced laser system can do to defeat significant threats to naval forces, said David Keel, a former Navy captain who was a program officer in the Office of Naval Research's ONR, Aviation, Force Projection, and Integrated Defense Department, which conducted the laser testing. And we have ongoing efforts, both at ONR and in other Navy programs, to keep building on these results in the near future. Although the U.S. Navy conducted similar testing of laser weapon technology in the 1980s, those tests involved chemical-based laser weapons, which presented the Navy with fairly significant logistical issues. These most recent LLD tests, however, involve an all-electrical system and offer the Navy to draw from a virtually limitless magazine depth. Added power to a laser weapon includes the ability to decrease processing time for any kind of kill chain or sensor-to-shooter cycle. While elements of this process can be shortened through the use of AI-empowered computers and automation, doubling the power output from 10 kilowatts would likely reduce the kill time from approximately 5 seconds to 2 to 3 seconds, Evan Hunt, Director of Business Development for High Energy Lasers and CUAS, Raytheon, told the National Interest in an interview. The laser is a solution with high efficiency that can ruin or intercept autonomously programmed drones, as this cannot be achieved in the same way by the RF jammer or any other solutions, the War Studies University essay explains. There are a number of current, high-profile laser weapons development efforts underway including Air Force initiatives to fire lasers from stealth fighter jets, Navy integration of large, powerful lasers onto destroyers, and even missile defense agency work on power scaling sufficient to use lasers for ballistic missile defense. Nonetheless, one thing Murray stressed was that, while lasers can offer lower cost, scalable, and highly efficient weapon systems, they can experience what's called beam attenuation and weaken in certain weather conditions.